Kaluja rosea is a tree native to the Caribbean, including the Bahamas, Hispaniola, Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Florida. It is a hema epiphyte, that is, that is, it grows as an epiphyte on rocks or other trees at the start of its life and behaving like a straggler fig as it gets larger. Like a straggler fig, it successfully competes for light by outgrowing, overtopping, and strangling its host tree with as many area roots as possible. The petals are pink to white. The thin upper leaf tissue registers writing, giving it the common name autograph tree. The tree produces a fleshy, light green toxic fruit. Once the fruit splits, the seeds are consumed by birds and other wildlife. Growing well in full sun to dapple shade, Kaluja rosea tolerates many different soil types but grows most rapidly on moist soils. It is quite tolerant of light open sands and salt spray, making it ideal for seaside locations. Kaluja rosea is often used as a screen due to its low spraying habit and is ideal for espeller to cool building walls in the summer. Some maintenance is required to trim prop roots and aerial roots as they form from the trunk base and lower branches, or the tree could take over an area. Otherwise, it is a low maintenance tree. Good companion plant suggestions include Molly grass, crown of thorns, Texas sage, agave, baby sun rose, desert rose, Madagascar palm, and bougainvillea. The wood of Kalesia is highly durable and is sometimes used for roof construction. The latex and the floral resin have antiseptic properties and have been used to seal wounds. Dry latex is sometimes burned like incense in churches. It is used to allay toothache and calluses on the feet. The dried powder gum is widely traded and is used as a resolutive plaster to treat fractures, dislocations, and burns. Decoctions of bark and fruit rind are applied to soothe rheumatic pains.